guys, welcome back to another episode of Miles Out, right here. So, uh, so I'm here camping this weekend at Myrtle Beach State Park Campground right on Myrtle Beach. It's been a great week, I haven't had any rain at all, it's been relatively mild, the temperature of the water is about 79 degrees, so it's wonderful once you get in. Lots of wildlife as I do some nature photography. Food has been unparalleled and even better. I've been camping with my parents. They're staying at another campsite and we've been splitting the meals. I cook some, they cook some, and tonight I get to cook on my final night here. And I'm gonna do one of my favorite meals, which is Dutch oven chicken. So I've got my one gallon Dutch oven. I've got a five pound chicken right here. I've got a whole bunch of onions and garlic. In here, I've got some parsnips, some carrots, some baby potatoes, and even, I'm trying something a little different this time, I've got uh, some radishes. I'm also throwing in some of this wonderful uh, baby portobello mushrooms. We're gonna sear the chicken, and I'll take you along with me as we do that, but I'm gonna just sear the chicken in this cast iron. Uh, once we get it seared, we're gonna throw our vegetables in there. We're gonna throw that in there with a little bit of this chicken stock and a little bit of beer, and that's gonna make it amazing. I may end up throwing a little bit of flour in there just to kind of thicken up the roux after we're done, just so we have a little more of a thick sauce, but when we're done, we'll pull out the chicken, we'll slice that, put it back in here, and we're just gonna scoop it out like a pot roast. The other thing I've got is some sliced up Brussels sprouts. I've coated them with olive oil and seasonings. We're gonna sear that in bacon fat. We got the crumbled up bacon, we got some goat cheese, we're gonna mix that in with this as it's cooking and when it's done we're going to put some balsamic drizzle on that we're going to serve that on the side so that's going to be dinner tonight I'm going to start out with some canola oil, about three tablespoons worth, maybe two. Cut the bottom and we're going to heat it up. Got some flour, and I've got a little bit of chicken broth, and make a little bit of a roux.
Find the bone. Where is it? There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. It's tender. Well, this isn't going well. Come right off. Okay, you don't have the have the uh, camera on. It is or on. The uh, voice on it. Ooh. Ah. Well, I can do that in post. No, I can do that in post. Here's two pieces, one for you and one for oh. your brother. Ah. Mm. Oh, that's a good chicken. Yeah. I think it's chicken. Yes, yeah. chicken. Better taste your sauce. Oh, that's nice too. Mm -hmm. You know that with that one the piece is. That's yours? No. This is right there, those are called the oysters. Why is this the best spot? Mm. Yeah, they're really tender. Alright, so now we're on the other side of our meal. The meal was absolutely amazing. I am stuffed. So, me and my family had a peaceful time. No cameras, we just ate what we ate, and it was just super amazing. I couldn't have had a better meal. The brine with the chicken gave it a super tender, moist bite to it. Nice and juicy. Um, it wasn't mush at all. We brought it up to about 165, 170 in the breast. The flour mixed in with the chicken stock helped thicken it up a little bit, and that kind of bound everything together when we put the chicken back into it. Um, it was just super. Now the Brussels sprouts were amazing. They were crispy on the outside with the bacon fat cooked into it, and it was tender on the inside. Mixed in with a little bit of sourness from the goat cheese, the crunchy saltiness of the bacon on top of that with a little bit of sweet from the balsamic glaze and that adds a little bit of tanginess as well, a little bit of zip, a little bit of acid. Just a perfect side for that. I really enjoyed this meal. Always love doing the Brussels sprouts. Anyone who likes Brussels sprouts loves th this style. Sometimes I'll use gorgonzola, sometimes I'll use goat cheese, sometimes I'll use blue cheese. It all depends on what's on the market and what I feel like having. So, there were no complaints with the meal. Everyone ate it. I have a little bit left over to go to work tomorrow, so it's going to be a uh, delicious leftover meal that I'm going to enjoy. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pack up. I see you guys next time at Miles Out right here.